Hello everyone, my name is Eduardo and I'm here with CGG Geosoftware to show some tips and tricks in the JSON Workbench. Today I'm going to show you how to QC inversion results. First of all, I'm going to open the maps that are generated with the inversion. We'll have the inversion here and the QC.har that's generated with the inversion. I'm going to look for the signal to noise ratio for the near stack and also the seismic to synthetic correlation for the same stack. So here you can see that uh, some areas you have a lower correlation, these cold colors, and also have lower signal to noise ratio. Normally what to, you would do is have a, a look of these areas on sections. I'm going to select a trace gate, for example, an arbitrary line uh, passing to this low correlation and low signal to noise ratio areas. And in the section, I'm going to import both the seismic of near and also the residuals. going to change for Vigo trace for both and change the color for the residuals to red so here you can see that these areas that you have uh, seen in the map is correspond to areas that they are seismic uh, the synthetic is, is not matching, so we have a, a higher residuals and also uh, a low correlation. This uh, can be due to uh, problems in the wavelet or sometimes problems in the seismic. Some areas that you have high uncertainty about your inversion results. Another common QC is to display both. Uh, impedance and VPVS for inversion results so here I'm going to remove the both synthetics and residuals and I'm going to add the inversion results impedance and VPVS so in the left hand, left hand side have impedance and the right hand side VPVS and also you want to uh, add your well logs I'm going to add these two wells of pin pillars here. And two wells for VPVS. I'm going to change to density. I also apply a high cut filter to match the frequency content of your inversion results. So here you can see this section, you can see the bodies and how they are continuous. Also you can see the match with the well logs that are overlay. So you have an idea where some in some areas that your seismic is not matching your wells, you may want to look at if you can uh, change some parameters of the inversion to have a higher correlation or sometimes uh, have a better match of the actual absolute values. You can also do some filtering too you can filter your inversion results uh, to have an idea of the band pass so taking out the low frequencies you do the same for your wells so now you apply a band pass filter and here you can see the match only only in the frequency content of your seismic uh, not take into account the low frequency model used in the inversion. Another type of QC is to extract the pseudo logs. So I'm open the well manager. I enter my two wells here, three and five. Go to curves tabs. Select curve, extract pseudo curves. Select the two wells I have. 
now I'm going to add the properties, the inversion results, so uh, the PVS and P impedance. By default, they, they are set to these two types, but these are the measure logs. I don't want to override them, so I'm going to add types and change for a uh, different one. So maybe VPV as pseudo and P impedance pseudo. I hit OK. I already have these these logs on my well, but I'm going to override them. I save my wells, and after that you can, for example, display the extracted one with the measured one in a well view with one well per panel. So here you can see in black is the measured one, in green is the inversion results. You can do the same, you can apply some uh, high cut some high cut filtering here let's say 60 Hz so now I'm comparing with the same frequency content for both the extracted one and the measured one another type of QC is to do some cross plotting I'm going to show in with impedance so I'm going to select both and do a cross plot of the impedance extracted and measured one. I'm going to change the vertical domain to time first. I'm going to apply also some filtering here in order to, to get rid of the higher frequency in the measured one. And also I'm going to resample to the Sample rate of of inversion results like two milliseconds. Here you can see for both wells, uh, the red the red dots are for wells three and the green ones for well five. We could also, if you want to display at the layout, uh, color by let's say metallic like oil sands and the brine sands in in blue and shales in gray. You might also want to do some regression in order to have an idea of the correlation. So I just fit it as a regression line. You can use fixed points to pass to the origin. origin. And here you can see that I have a 0 0.97 correlation. You have the fit error and also the slope of the curve. Like the closer to one is better. Also correlation closer to one is better. Uh, so this is some of the QCs that you can do on the version results to have an idea of the quality. That's it. Thanks for your attention and see you in the next tip and tricks.